Welcome to Holton's Fix It 101 and today we are going to be talking about evolution tools again. More particularly this thing. Welcome back. Now, this is the EXT 165mm circular saw from Evolution. Cordless, I must stress. Um, I've had a quick look around this and uh, it came with uh, another tool that I'm going to do a video on in a later date. But uh, if you want to see that video, I'll post a link up in the description and one down below for you so you can have a look at that. But uh, I've had a good look around this, and to be honest with you, I'm quite impressed with some of the improvements that Evolution have made over their previous uh, tool that I had from them. Now, opening up the box, we got the usual sort of stuff that you usually find in a box. Uh, we got the instructions. Um, there's a, uh, a dust uh, extractor connector type thing. It goes on the end of here, uh, but I'm yet to find one of my um, uh, hoses that actually fit it yet. So I think there's some more work got to be done there, evolution. Um, now it comes with a guide that goes on the side, as you can see here, uh, that connects in so you can run up, say, like a sheet of board or whatever, and to cut it. Now it comes with a battery. Now this particular one came in a what they call the kit. Uh, that you can buy obviously is going to be a little bit more money but it does actually you can actually get this as a bear tool um, now the batteries themselves obviously they've got the EXT on it this particular one is a 4 amp hour battery so you've got plenty of power to actually run this tool but uh, these batteries themselves they are compatible with uh, the screw fix Urbauer range I think I said Urbauer right um, they are compatible with that so if you're on that platform of the Urbar cordless range um, then you can just whack in your own batteries into here and off you go no problem whatsoever but these will actually go into obviously the Urbar tools as well now it comes with the usual charger um, I'm quite impressed with the actual size of this charger um, the only thing I'm not impressed with is the fact that this charger has a fan inside obviously the fan is there to cool the battery in the in the uh, charger itself um, but uh, it is quite loud when you when it's in use and it might become a little bit of a bit of an irritant to you if if you're in and say like a workshop or something like that to hear a fan in the background going all the time um, but it is I'm quite impressed with the size of the charger and it does what it does it charges um, the only th the other thing I'm quite press impressed with as well that they've actually given quite a substantial lead on here. Um, that's an improvement over over some of the things that they've done, and the lead is quite flexible. It's not too long that it's that it's in the way, or and it's not too short that you've got to be right next to your plug socket in your wall. Um, you know it is quite I'm quite impressed with that so that's very much of an improvement of evolutions um, you have you get you get a, get a, um, a saw blade obviously you, why wouldn't you um, from evolution uh, it has a 20 mil blood bore obviously this 165 mil to match the saw so uh, I'm, 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 you know, I'm quite impressed with that. It's quite a nice thin curve to it. So if you're cutting metal or anything like that, you aren't taking great chunks out of the, out of the metal in stressing the saw. I'm quite impressed with that. But uh, the usual sort of things. I've left the blade out on purpose, and I'll, I'll go over that in a minute. Uh, what I will do, though, is I will spark up the overhead camera so we can get a closer look at what we are doing here. 
um, and afterwards we'll compare it with the uh, corded version that they brought out um, which I have and uh, I don't not very impressed with that at all and I uh, also done a video on that one so if you want to see that I'll put a link up above and I'll also put a link to that one down below as well so if you want to watch that you can at your own leisure thank you but uh, there we go I'll see you in a couple of seconds right now here we are with the overhead camera so you can have a, a good look around this tool now what impressed me quite quite in well, I was quite impressed with it was the fact that it's got a quite a lot of rubber over mold over over the central areas being all the handles and everything else it means you can grip onto this tool you know and really hold on to it now one of the other things that I was very very impressed with now I haven't uh, showed this on the camera before but I will show it I'll do that and I've pulled it out like that now underneath here obviously this is where you connect up you connect up your blade but I will get it closer to the to the camera it has a washer that's underneath here now on this washer it's got here caution only fits 20 mil blades and it actually says on there and I will get it try to get it up to nearer to the camera as I possibly can and but the thing is you can turn this washer over and on the other side it says on here caution only fits 58 blades and it actually got on there stamped on there 58 and I'll put that up closer to the camera so you can see it here we go up there right so it means that you can turn this washer over if you want to change the ball size of your blade. I thought that was quite a unique little thing to have. I was, I was quite impressed with that. So that's one of the things that I, I found out from Evolution that uh, they've improved on. I'll put that back on for now. And the other thing that I found out that they, they've done with this, that this sole plate that they put on here. Now I complained on my last video that the sole plate that they actually used was, um, it was um, pressed steel. Now this one, as you can see, it is full thickness of aluminium and I am quite impressed with that very very impressed indeed you know that if they've given you a full you know thickness of aluminium there a nice sole plate to be working with and you know what a great thing to have put that up like that right the other thing that i've noticed that evolution have actually done on the front of the saw just here that this i know it's a plastic bar but this plastic bar is actually adjustable from side to side. So you can actually get the, one of the notches that's actually in here lined up with the blade. So you know when you're following a line that every time that you want to follow that line, you have that guide in the right place and everything else. You can adjust it so you can either get one side of the blade or the one other side of the blade or you can have the blade directly in the center of that notch. Now, I felt that that was an absolute brilliant thing to have on a saw. I've never seen that on any other saw before. Um, I'm sure there are some more saws out there that have got that feature, but, you know, I'm, I'm quite impressed with this one. Um, the tilting mechanism is what you would find, but I'll show you on here the tilting mechanism. As you can see, I'll get that up closer to the camera. Um, as you can see, it has these uh, gradients on here all printed on, actually properly printed on, rather than it actually embossed into the actual steel itself. And uh, I'll show you when we compare it with the other vid, uh, um, cat, the other uh, circular saw that it is that you know it, it, this is a lot better. They've improved on this. Um, which I'm quite I'm quite happy to see now to to do the adjustment on the um, 
on here you just move that like that and this will canter over and it's very very nice and very easy to do that too I'm I'm seriously impressed with how how that canters over and it just presses that down locked in position and I, I am very very impressed with that the other thing I found as well that they the evolution have actually done is the fact that this back piece here obviously there's a small fan in there that helps cool the blade but this fan cover as you as you for want of a better word um, you, that that's flat so if when you're changing a blade you can turn that saw up like that and it actually stays there uh, you know absolutely brilliant I, I, I love it absolutely love it and the other th another thing for safety they've done is put they put a switch on here I don't know if you can actually see that but I'll push that like that and you can see that whether you're a lefty or a righty you can push that push that button to because this that stops the switch from doing that so and that is absolutely brilliant as i said before though um, the only th disappointment i found was the fact that they've had this uh, dust extraction port is not the best in the world and, and, and i wish they would have made an improvement i complained about it on the other video uh, for the corded version that they had that i couldn't find a, a hose for it and i'm afraid that this isn't no different it comes with this silly sort of thing here i'm not impressed with that at all i think that i think that evolution could have made that to the you know standard sizes of hoses um you know i i haven't found one yet in all the hoses that i've got in my workshop here i've not found one that actually fits it so but that said you know but the usual we get the get the batteries and it's the click in type slide in for the side not the post one like you get on the ryobi tools it's the slide in and this one just slides in clicks in and it is off to good you're off to the races basically and it's um a uh, soft start with a break as well so i'll quickly spark it up and so you can hear that it's off to, you know when it's off it's off and we like to see that the other thing i would like to stress is that it does have a battery indicator on the on here as well so you can press the battery indicator and it tells you how much charge you have in your battery so you know all the all the goodness that you want it's it's there so uh, and I'll put that to one side at the moment and we'll put that over there obviously that's a star of the show but uh, we'll put that over there now here's the um, charger now obviously the charger is what it does it charges it has two lights on here uh, one's green obviously one's red the red will flash when you are charging obviously the green comes on when it's all fully charged but uh, it says on here obviously a rapid charge and if you read up some of the stuff that's actually in the manual it will actually that's not the right manual but never mind um, but there it does come with a manual uh, it will actually tell you that um, it uh, charges a four amp hour battery and I think it's just under an hour or something like that you, you know right from dead in that's a, one of these one of these uh, batteries here it will actually uh, charge that up so very very good but the only like i say only complaint i've got about that is the fact that it's got this horrible fan in it it obviously calls all the electronics that's in the actual thing itself but you know that side it does what it does here's the 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 blade and it tells you all the different things that it can do here it's mild steel aluminium wood plastic all the usual th goodness that you would actually find from evolution it's got it there isn't it so uh, there we go what can i say right 
just before we get into the nuts and bolts of talking about the comparison between this and the corded version that Evolution have got, um, I'd just like to do a quick comparison with this. Now this is the cordless version from DeWalt. Obviously there are a lot of things on here that this can do that this can't. Uh, this is just um, for wood and things like that, wood in plastic and that sort of thing. Um, this one will do a multitude of different uh, materials, wood, metal, uh, well, mild steel and things like that. It, it, you could change the blade, I'm sure it will do other, other materials as well. But bearing in mind that this is probably about three, four times the price of this, um, there are a lot of features on this that I, I'll quickly point out. There are a lot of features on this uh, that you get over that. And I'm so glad that, um, you know, that I can do this this comparison. Um, for instance, obviously, yes, they are both 18 volt um, with the slide in batteries on both. Um, this one has a better dust collection. This has the DeWalt um, airlock collection connections that uh, I have in my workshop. And if you, I've got a video for that. If you really want to see that, I'll post a link up the top for that one and a link down below. Um, but uh, there are a lot of different different things. Obviously, this is a little bit more beefier. Um, it does have a bigger blade in it. This one has a 190 mil blade, with this one is a maximum of 165. But uh, there's a slightly different in the in the motors as well. This one being brushless. This one having brushes. Uh, but the handle on on here, the handles I find are a lot lot better on this one. And this is the cheaper cheaper uh, saw. This has a lo lovely over molds on here that you can grab hold of. This one has an over mold on the back here, but on the, on the front there, it's just a plastic handle. Um, the other thing that I, I pointed out earlier was this one has some nice markings on the inside here for tilting the um, the, the 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 you know the foot. Um, this one. It is all embossed on here. Um, it has the same lever mechanism and everything else as that one, but this one has just as a bossed. And the actual uh, base plate as well on here, again, is only pressed steel, whereas this one is a very, very nice uh, aluminium um, plate on the bottom. This one here doesn't have the adjustability of the front bar here so you can line up the uh, base plate with the with the saw blade for the notch in the center so you can actually follow the follow the blade this one has adjustability now bear it in mind that this is uh, probably about four times cheaper than that you know and this is has features well 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 in excess of the DeWalt now I'm not knocking DeWalt because I I love DeWalt tools. Don't get me wrong, I, I actually love them. I got I got lots of DeWalt tools around my shop around my shop here, but I'm I'm just comparing the two. That what you actually the features and everything else that you get on this outweighs what you're getting on here, and you got a, a very much cheaper saw, and not cheap in build quality. Uh, like I say, the only thing that really gets up my nose is the fact that is the dust collection on here is 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 it's still a bit naff. So you know they they can improve on that, but for what they've built the saw with and everything else, I this is such an improvement over the, the over their corded version that they brought out not so not so long ago, and I'm I'm well pleased with it. Now. We'll we're, we're, we're get rid of that, and I'll put that down there, out the way. Now we're going to bring up this. Now this is the corded version, or one of their latest corded versions of um, Evolution's uh, multi-saw. Now I absolutely slammed this saw 
on a video and I'll post a link to that as well so you can watch that and down below um, I actually quite slammed this saw because I did not like it at all it, it was it was in, in my view that you know and I said it in the video that evolution could do better and with this they have they really have improved on this um, is a, there's a lot a lot better markings for for, for uh, adjusting the saw uh, there's lots of better better features on here this this has a nice uh, sole plate and everything else this is the horrible press steel thing um, bearing in mind that yes this is has got a slightly bigger um, blade in it and everything else being corded uh, against that but this is such such an improvement and uh, you know, I, can, I can only you know applaud what evolution has done uh, they've gone back to their drawing board and they've redesigned the wheel basically with this one um, you know there's so many features you know better over mold on the handle at the front this one again the same as what the DeWalt had this one's got a horrible sort of plasticky thing that you try and grab hold of and it's quite smooth as well it's you, you if, if you was trying to hold on to that I, I wouldn't you know I wouldn't want to uh, the dust collection on here I've had to tr I've actually 3d printed um, a connector so I better put my DeWalt airlock connectors on on onto here um, I've actually 3d printed one I'll probably have to do one now for here to be honest uh, but uh, there's such such more improvements on this on this version against that and I know that I know we're talking but batteries against cord corded and everything else but you know they they really have improved on these and I can only applaud what um, Evolution have actually done with uh, this, the cordless version that they brought out. Now, if you want one of these saws, I, I really do, do invite you to hop on over to um, Evolution's uh, website and uh, use my promo code, Holton's Fix It 101, and to the end of May 2022, you will get 10% off at the checkout now that's an affiliate code to help you guys out there to you know for buying one of these and now I've I've said why my piece now go and get one yourself because and see what you think about it because you know going if you was to going up a ladder it's not the heaviest thing in the world if you was going up a ladder or something like that you know it's a cut off a piece of steel or or you're going, or you're going up on a roof to cut off a piece of steel, or for want of a better word, then I would take this. I I wouldn't want to go and drop it, because uh, you know, <laughs> this is the only one I've got, and I don't want to do that test. I'm sorry to say, so don't expect me to do that test for you. But uh, if I was to, it would be a, you know a sad day in paradise. But um, you know, it, I I wouldn't. Uh, I I would I would choose one of these any day of the week over one of these so but uh, there we go so use the affiliate link and uh and get get yourself one now if you want to contact me on the usual social media channels please feel free to do so and uh i will see you next time and don't forget to um like and subscribe and uh, i will see you again bye bye Thank you.